Hi, this is Mike at Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm going to be doing some videos on uh, rebuilding this carburetor. Uh, this is the Holly One Barrel 1904. And this one happens to have a glass bowl, which are uh, very hard to come by. Uh, if you happen to have one of these, be super careful. If you break it, um, you're done. The good news is on this one, um, you can replace it with the metal one if you have to. The interchange, okay. Uh, anyhow, so this uh, this particular video is going to be on, I'm going to tear this apart. I may uh, talk about a few things while I do it. And uh, this will be uh, provided uh, as a free video. The complete rebuilding of this uh, is going to be uh, done on a DVD. And that will be available on my website. Uh, as you can see, this uh, takes a, kind of a special uh, hold-down screw. I see uh, one is missing off of it. Um, I'll have to find one somewhere. I don't know what... Uh, I suppose you could build something using this place if you had to. Now, um, oh, I see this has been off. I see the gasket's gone. Uh, this here, this ring requires a gasket right here. If you don't put a gasket there, you're probably going to crack it when you when you uh, cinch it down. So I see it has a uh, nitrofill type of uh, float, which I cannot replace. Uh, um, you can't buy floats for these. So I think I have a brass one over here. I can, when I do find a brass one, I hang on to them because uh, I won't reuse this float. It's uh, nitrofill uh, tends to absorb fuel over time, and you just can't trust them. So uh, I'm gonna put all my parts here in a bucket. All right. So this has a needle and seat assembly, and it's uh, actually part of your. Uh, fuel inlet and there's a screw in there that uh, okay so this has a uh, this has the correct uh, washers on it like that. Oops. Now over time, uh, these get wore, whatever. Um, fuel will leak between the uh, body and the uh, um, uh, seat. When it's in here, it'll leak by it, so it doesn't won't go in the right path. So it'll tend to flood out. So if you have a flood out problem, that could be it. Uh, my subsequent videos will uh, show you how to take care of that little problem. All right. Take the economizer out. Seems to be a nice clean little carburetor. Now your 1904 may not be exactly like this one. I haven't even looked up to see what this is yet. Uh, it'll be very similar. Uh, the difference on some of them, uh, the actuator, this one's a metal, and uh, a lot of them will have the uh, plastic one, and the, uh, the choke will be uh, look a little different than this one. And I see this one has a little bit different uh, uh, fuel discharge on it. I haven't seen one of these for a long time. Uh, there's a little pin that holds that in we'll have to take off. Okay, so uh, this comes in the... I'll get a new one of these in the kit. This diaphragm here it has to separate from that. There we go. Okay, and what that does is uh, uh, when uh, at low speeds, when your vacuum is at the highest, this uh, this diaphragm gets sucked up like that, and no pressure on here. Well, and then when you uh, uh, um, speed up and uh, you lose vacuum, this will expand and push this little needle down and allow more fuel to flow into your uh, uh, venturi. Um, and that's for uh, your higher speeds. OK, 
is your economizer block. Some people call a metering block. There's your main uh, jet. We do carry these jets. Yeah, let's see. I don't know if I see a number on that one or not. Yeah, it's a uh, sixty-seven. It looks like in this particular carburetor. those loose. I'll try and point out anything's not in here right if if the, if it isn't. Okay. Don't want to lose these little screws. Okay, and there's a little spring that holds back. And uh, then we have our uh, diaphragm. By the way, I want to point something out here. Um, this is the uh, where the diaphragm comes out. Um, if you have any much of a gap in here at all, uh, your uh, throttle valve is going to be open like that. It's going to be uh, loose, and uh, you want it you want it tight. Otherwise, you're going to put a spring on your uh, throttle to hold it open. But if you have much of a gap here, you may have the wrong uh, accelerator pump in there. Now, as long as you have the carburetor number uh, and you get the correct kit, you should have the correct accelerator pump. Our kits were not invented yesterday, so they, uh, what you get in a kit has been a long time research, so it's going to have the right parts in it. Of course, somebody could always mess up, but it's not like they build a kit nowadays with all the wrong parts. So you got a little check ball that goes in here, holds this thing together. And there's the sleeve and your spring, and you see it holds right in there. Yeah, this stuff, I don't think this uh, diaphragm's ever been used. I think it's, somebody's rebuilt this for some reason, didn't finish it off. Okay. Idle mixture screw out. Now what you want to watch for in idle mixture screws, if there's any groove at all in here, any lines. Um, sometimes just a black mark, you just buff it out and it'll be fine. Any lines at all replace the screw, fortunately they're still available. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we'll take off this uh, actuator assembly here. There's the clip. throttle body. Uh, we want to make sure it's uh, not too loose and that means uh, um, the up and down because this way is you know fine you want that loose but up and down if you get too much slack you're gonna have a little it can't be completely tight uh, but if you're getting like a, a I'd say three one thirty seconds or more you're gonna you're gonna leak right here it's gonna leak vacuum and you're going to have to put bushings in it. Okay, so there's that assembly. 
Okay. Now, so uh, now these uh, will I will sometimes take these apart when I need to shim them, and uh, see how it moves back and forth. And what what I do sometimes I stick a little washer right here. Um, it depends on how it lines up, but it seems they'll catch sometimes. But this one seems okay, so uh, we'll would probably be okay there. All right, so that's that assembly there. Uh, this particular one to get this uh, main discharge. I'm going to do this off camera. I have to work on this. this. This pin you push out, and then this comes out. Chances are you won't have one like this. Uh, this is kind of an oddball. Forget what it fits, but uh, anyway. So here's the metering block now. You'll have two screws. Um, yours may have uh, brass caps or aluminum cap, whatever, uh, to hold these in. And what you need to do is carefully drill them out. These d this does need to be clean. Now you see how this had the check weight in it and, uh, and the ball. And uh, you'll have two different size balls for this. The bigger ball goes out here. You know, they got the same ball. I think the I think they may have been wrong on that one. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, you do need to take these apart. This one's a little strange uh, compared to most of them I've done. Uh, take this apart to get this clean in here. And uh, you see even that, that's, whoever did this last did not take it apart. Anyhow, so, uh, yeah, I question these check balls. They're generally one bigger than the other, so uh, we'll see when we get the kit out for this one. Okay, so this one you don't necessarily have to take out. Just make sure it's real clean in there. It doesn't have a check ball. It has to seal, so we're okay there. And uh, these, if they're bent, straighten them out. Um, I have seen uh, stuff on the internet about trying to fix these. It's uh, quite an involved process. I don't mess with them too much as long as they're working. And uh, that's a disassembly of it. And uh, like I say, I'll be uh, cleaning it and assembling. One other thing I'll be doing in, uh, on, our, on my uh, uh, DVD series is uh, uh, straightening this bowl out. They, uh, they're almost always warped from people over tightening them. Um, so there is a way to straighten them. It's, uh, it's not easy. I don't know if you can see on the video, you can see this one's warped. Uh, so I will uh, um, try and straighten this out somewhat. Okay? Alright, thank you for watching.